Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is episode 30 of the Star Sign Legacy Challenge. I am just so surprised that I've reached 30 episodes of this Let's Play and I'm still very much enjoying it. Last episode, we finally said goodbye to Kian, Phoenix's dad, and I guess I'm just ready to get back into game and start playing with the Starcross family again. So without further ado, let's head on over to gameplay. So everyone, I am back again with my Starcross family and I'm gonna say for storyline purposes that it's probably been a few months, like sim months, since Kian passed away. And the family is just cruising along, to be honest. There's definitely a few changes, not just with Phoenix, Danny, and Ren, but actually also Enzo in the background. Now, as you can probably see, that is Phoenix. She's gone back to her natural hair color, which really, really suits her anyway, but she has officially cut off her long locks. So she is sporting quite a kind of like a bob to be honest so she's currently sporting a bob she's got a new wardrobe as well whereas danny danny is actually sporting kind of like a longish hair just kind of like on the side there and they're they're going great they're still going great and i could definitely see that there's something something has been spoiled over here so let me just quickly get rid of this <laughs> and Boring. they still very much love each other. Back then, Danny was the one who was sporting the shorter hair compared to the two of them, but obviously that's changed. Danny's got a new wardrobe as well. And another change in the Starcross family is our little Ren. So Ren has aged up into a toddler. He is actually a fussy little baby. Now I've chosen the fussy trait because I kind of want to tie in to the storyline of him actually going to be very high maintenance and because his mom is very self-assured. To be honest, Phoenix was supposed to be hot-headedness, but I've actually swapped that out with her being overachiever. And I just wanted him to be somewhat of a fussy baby, but he's too busy. I think he's drawing in the sim tablets. I'm gonna leave him be. And I am just enjoying, so of course I've kind of like, not renovated, but obviously changed up Ren's bedroom so he's got a toddler bed now he's got a few toys here and there and Danny has been doing some odd jobs as well and they've been quite successful in their cross stitching like they would put it on their plopsy their plopsy shop and a few people has have actually bought their bought their creation so and also we've just got this a painterly calling Daddy is relishing every brush stroke. Should they let the colors flow and embrace that they like painting? Absolutely. Whenever, as soon as I kind of introduced Danny into the storyline, I've always pictured them as a painter. Like, I've actually never pictured them as someone who loves nectar making, despite that being their actual background from the Horse Ranch expansion. And I actually didn't continue with this aspiration. I just for some reason for this particular story it didn't really suit Danny for some reason but I still kind of continued or let them continue go on to their kind of like artistic endeavors and that's painting and cross stitching and if they finished this one excellent why do you want to list this on Plopsy then and I love how they're just kind of like oh, oh my gosh Okay, let's keep this so that we can put that. I'm gonna leave them be. And uh, she's talking about rock climbing because so basically, I think I'd like to think that she's like, Danny, I think that this has been one of my greatest investment, just getting the rock climbing equipment. And that's what 
is currently here. I've got decorations going just because it was love day the day before but it's a sunday morning i thought that i kind of really i just wanted to start off the episode on a beautiful sunday morning last episode was obviously unexpected and i wasn't kind of like really prepared for kian to pass away and another thing that has changed everyone what is okay all cute so Danny's just kind of like looking at Ren and then Phoenix okay do you want to I think you oh well take a piece of this one another change that happened in the background so like I said I've been playing with them off camera so another change is Enzo and Enzo has actually married officially actually they eloped at a courthouse he married Luna Crawley, but obviously she's now Luna Starcross. And they were actually, they were trying for a baby, but unfortunately they failed to conceive. But Enzo hasn't actually, he hasn't properly introduced Luna yet to his sister. And I think them eloping at the courthouse was very, it was kind of like, not necessarily a spur of the moment, but I think, you know, they were possibly planning for a wedding, but they thought, hey, there's no need. Let's just elope at a courthouse. Maybe, I don't know whether it will be in this episode or maybe in the next set of three episodes of Star Sign Legacy Challenge Let's Play. We, Phoenix may most likely meet Luna then. For now, I actually just really wanted to play with this family. And another thing that I need to do as well is part of the challenge for Phoenix actually and it will continue on to generation 2, the Taurus generation, so Ren. One of the requirements is that when our firstborn child is a toddler, we need to adopt a puppy. And when this dog becomes an elder, we adopt another puppy, so then we would have two dogs in the household. And we need to keep repeating this, so then our children will always have at least two dogs in the house. To be honest everyone, I think, and I don't know whether I've mentioned this in the previous episodes as well, that... I think we're kind of nearing the end of Phoenix's generation, like her story. And I think we are most likely going to be moving on soon to Ren's story. So if that's the case, we'll try and take that off, adopting a puppy. So if we go to home and I think it's the adoption agency, is it not? adoption agency we are going to adopt a dog but it needs to be a puppy oh my gosh Ren is a little singer cute okay let's have a look so we've got bacon bobby cupcake dixie doki doodle okay so we could only really oh do we have more ratchet is a fu ratchet i'm kind of feeling ratchet actually tofu i think ratchet a foxhound. It's a puppy, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look. Let's try and see. But, so, Ren is a little singer. He really loves to sing, and toddlers who are little singers enjoy singing and tend to sing at random times throughout the day. Cute. Okay, Danny's finishing off. Alright, um, Phoenix, do you want to come around and... Let's see whether we could bring little... Okay, let's... Let's talk to the adoption agent. Uh, let's let's do friendly. Let's do a polite introduction, and then let's. Oh my gosh, ratchet! Let's do a cautious introduction, and everyone, because our home doesn't actually have any stairs, Ren would be unable to actually go down. So for storyline purposes, I'm gonna imagine that Phoenix actually brought Ren down. So I am going to just teleport him down here. And everyone, Ren's got blue eyes. And of course, as you can see, like orange, orange hair. And I think that's through... Oh no. Oh no, no, not yet. 
All right, little one. Do you want to try and do a friendly? Oh, okay. Maybe he's got a bit of a. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. So much charm. You can't eat a meal. do not necessarily, you know, have to adopt Ratchet. Although that's so sad. Let's try and babble. Danny, do you want to come over here and see whether you would be a bit more successful in kind of like introducing yourself to Ratchet? But that's fine. Like, like I said, he does not necessarily have to be the puppy that we adopt. We could... Like, if he's not going to be friendly... Okay, so I think he's loyal. All right, but so maybe it's just at the start that he's a bit like standoffish. I want to see. Okay, maybe let's try and see Danny first whether they're able to. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. Ren loves sounds. Ren seems to really love anything that makes sound. Tell toddlers with a squirt tend to be fascinated with radios, TVs, and toys that make sounds. They'll even babble more. Oh my gosh. So Ren will actually be like, I feel like this would be perfect if Generation 2 is all about like music and singing, but it doesn't matter. Maybe Ren would be kind of like half like a chef, like a chef singer or something if he loves music that much. Okay. What have you found out, Danny? Oh, Ratchet is aggressive. Okay, is there anything else that he's jumpy? Oh no, okay. Alright. So everyone, Danny is going to end the adoption. I think I think because they didn't have that initial in attraction to Ratchet, and I think Ratchet doesn't like us as well i think that they're not going to adopt ratchet unfortunately but i think phoenix will try and see other options other puppies that they can adopt who is obviously not aggressive because their baby is still a toddler so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get them just to kind of look after Ren. Like he's angry. He is tired from low energy and owie. After the high comes a low. Something hurts after that raucous tantrum. All right. Danny, do you want to let's give Ren a bath while we're down here? Excellent, everyone. Oh boy, King of Appaloosa would like to purchase large cross-stitch hoop on Plopsy. If you agree to the sale, then find a large cross-stitch hoop in the inventory and ship it to send it off to its new forever home. And Vren is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. They like to roughhouse and are quick to hit, bite, or kick Sim, so long as they aren't good friends. They don't even have to be angry like other toddlers. Watch out. Okay, so I think Danny's like, no, 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 like you can't. Like, your mom it was trying to give you a bath. Give blessing of use. Discipline, I think. I think Danny's going to be calm, but Phoenix, I think, is a bit more firm. So he's like, no, 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 you can't be like that to your mom. She wanted to give you a bath. And if you didn't want to have a bath, you do not have to throw a tantrum. Phoenix, you are in pain. I think you've got a headache and also you've... You're uncomfortable because of unbalanced meals. Okay, so too many. All right. So actually, everyone, I'm going to try and make it apparent later on. So what I might do is Danny is currently giving Ren a bath. And then I actually want them to put Ren on the stool over here. And for storyline purposes, at this very early age, he's already seeing his mom like cook gourmet meals. And because... Phoenix is what 
I think she's level 10. I'm pretty sure she's like level 10 in cooking. She's level 10 in cooking. She's level 10 in gourmet cooking. And she's thinking about her dad. All right, so we are going to... Let's put this over here. And then let's put Ren over here, please. Oh, little one, he's asleep. He is asleep. Okay. All right, can you watch your mom? <gasps> Sing a song. Actually, let's... I'm gonna... Oh. I'll put down. Okay. Oh, cute. All right. Putting down. All right. Resume your rack of lamb. And then I want you to... Can you... He's angry, though. Make funny faces. And then... Friendly, do small talk. Why don't you babble? And I want you just to watch your mum. Sing a song. Sing a song. Oh my gosh. Cute, 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 cute. They're like, okay, let's... <laughs> They're probably like, okay, let's leave Ooh, Ren. Just <laughs> napping. Oh, he's up, he's up. Okay. Little one, do you want to grab... Okay, he's grabbing Rackham. Oh, I, I don't know everyone, like, I think it came to a point, like, when I was playing with them, like, the last few episodes, like, I wasn't very interested, and I think I was kind of like, okay, what do I need to do with them now? But then, I think after playing with them off camera, giving them really, like, new wardrobe and new haircuts, oh! Cue the punchline. Phoenix, Rowan, and Ren just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Excellent. They're jokesters. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Now, I think we need to put Ren to sleep as well, Phoenix. And everyone, I'll just... What happened? Why can't we do it? So everyone, I'll play with them... For the rest of the night and then we'll check back in on them the next morning so everyone it is the next day and phoenix has woken up and went straight to her yoga mat i am quite liking this for her this kind of like morning routine and she started she's starting this off before she goes to work yeah i'm i'm quite liking this i'd like that she's got a very healthy routine as well and everyone just a quick summary phoenix is actually i believe on the second last stage of her career so i'm gonna stop that because she needs to go to work and she is an elder states person so yeah everyone i'm not too sure whether we'll get around to this but maybe we could squeeze it in like just her kind of like going to the usual community park here at Mount Kamarabi and start talking to the locals. Now, so when I was playing off camera, Danny, I've actually gotten Danny to do some odd works here and there. So Danny, at the moment, she, Danny's not employed at all. They are more on the creative side of things. You know, they've got a plopsy. They sell their paintings to a collector. And I think from time to time, because they're always in the house, and I think maybe for Danny, they're like, hey, you know, I could pick up some odd jobs here and there, just so then I am actually going somewhere, you know? They've only tried it once. Ren is going over to Danny, and he's probably like, mom, mom, if he could say mom, and he's just going to sing a song. Oh. And then maybe do small talk and just do some babble. And then Danny's going to pick up an odd job. And I think I think everyone will probably enroll Ren to preschool. But I think if ever we'll just have to kind of like teleport him downstairs so then he is actually able to go to preschool because we don't have any stairs like I said. Wingman wanted, she sells seashells, hiking buddy. Let's try the hiking buddy. 
let's see let's see if we're able to do that and i think the other thing that i was hoping <gasps> to do as well everyone but most likely it will not be in this episode it would be in the next set of episodes is actually get danny and phoenix to officially marry oh everyone so danny is back and unfortunately our odd job is a failure if you see a bear you're probably safer in a group danny thought about that as they booked it away from the wild carnivore leaving danica in the dust the good news is danica survived the bad news she wasn't particularly pleased but she was alive and fully capable of docking the payment owed to danny okay so our odd jobs rating has dropped and we've only earned 21 simoleons oh dear that's not good that is not good she's feeling confident though she's feeling very confident and i'm getting phoenix just to kind of teach some manners to our little one teaching him how to say please and thank you and how to say sorry and I think, and I think we'll probably do the, we'll get Phoenix to go and talk amongst the people in Mount Komorebi and kind of secure their votes as well, I think. Okay, good. Because Renz, oh, he's angry. Thankless. He doesn't want to say please or thank you. No, no way, no how. You can't make him. But at least he's reached level two. He's reached level two of communication and... He's what as well? Still level one of movement and level two of imagination. Okay. And he's learning how to say sorry. Okay, good. I also was wanting Phoenix to teach him how to say mama and to actually show him some flashcards just so that we could start off his thinking skill as well. So everyone, it is the next day and to be honest, I so everyone, it's the next day and it's actually a get it together day. So we need to appreciate an object and make resolutions. And I am actually getting both Danny and Phoenix to swim around in this um I would say lake. I haven't actually done this before and I thought it's a nice change of pace for the both of them because one like they're not working at all today and just because and also because i haven't really been able to do this before and it's actually such a lovely place and it's near our house as well so so i thought why not and yes i did just get another last exception and hopefully it's not going to affect our gameplay that much but i think both phoenix and danny are enjoying it really well and also defeated the endurance challenge she beat the toughest vertical endurance challenge the rock climbing wall has to offer but there are more challenges yet to be conquered take a break to enjoy her achievement and let those muscles relax before attempting another challenge and that is exactly that is exactly what we are doing and living well being near death can make any sim feel regretful about the past but being around a sim she adores has instead made phoenix rowan hopeful about the future well that's great all right everyone so we are back to our usual community lot that we go to we are going to oh so we actually know ayako ayako so i think let's do a political career let's try and promote our policies Okay, let's secure some votes. And let's also talk to Eiichi Nakamura. And again, we'll do the exact same thing. Just promoting our policies. Our policy is really all about preserving the culture and the cultural heritage of Mount Komorebi. Oh, look at Danny. I'd like to think that she looks very proud of... Let me just see. I think like she looks very proud of phoenix we've been able to secure five votes today so that's very good i'm very impressed with phoenix 
I think it's her charisma and her self-esteem as well. And Phoenix seemed to enjoy hearing about Danny getting hands-on with her hobbies. You can always learn a lot from a sim who is passionate about a skill. Excellent! Cute, cute, cute. So everyone, I've just gotten Phoenix to try and see whether there's any puppies that they will, you know, kind of like connect to. Now I've chosen Fifi, English Cocker Spaniel. And then the adoption agency is here again. So let's invite them in. And thank goodness that Ren is already down here. So then at least we could kind of like do a cautious introduction. Oh, okay. That's slightly better. Like she's not kind of like growling at them. Trip escape. <gasps> cute, cute, cute. Okay, okay. That's not too bad. Let's get to know Fifi. Let's get to know Fifi. Do you want to try and talk to Fifi? And maybe even pet her? <gasps> Fifi is active. Okay. Okay. Oh, look. Because technically this is going to be Ren's dog. Okay, like, look, she's just listening. She's like, oh, I love... Like, she's like, I love bones. Cute. Oh, that's adorable. Yes, we are going to adopt this pet. Beefy Star Claw. Ta da! I'm so Excellent! <laughs> Cute. There we go. We've now got Beefy. Excellent. I think I am actually going to end this episode over here. I am really glad that I got. You know, the Starcross family to kind of have like a makeover, like new wardrobe, new hairstyle. And, you know, Ren has aged up into a toddler, even though we didn't really see it in this particular episode. But I kind of like the fast forward pace that occurred, obviously off camera, but it's here now. Phoenix was able to secure a lot of votes while she was in the community center. Their relationship, Ooh. Phoenix's and Danny's relationship, are still going very strong. They're able to spend a bit more time together and definitely feeling a lot better. And kind of at peace with what happened with Kian. And of course, we've got our little Generation 2 heir over here. Do you wanna... do you wanna pet... do you wanna pet your dog? And yeah, and we're ending this episode with a new addition to our family, and that is Fifi. Fifi Starcross. And I just remembered, it is kind of like Fifi, maybe like Fiona. That is Phoenix's mom's name, Fiona Starcross. So we're just petting Fifi. Let's get to know. I'm very happy with how this episode turned out. And I really hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all into the next one see ya bye